What is going on guys, Greggles TV. My phone of the year, as you can see right here, is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I've used, on a daily basis, I've used the Pixel 4 XL, I've used the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the 11, iPhone, iPhone 11, I've used the S10 Plus, and that's pretty much it at this point. That's, those are basically the major phones that most people, I think, would say are the best phones that you can get anywhere and i have to go with the galaxy note 10 plus as my phone of the year for a few reasons and i'm going to get into that right now with you i'm not going to do a full-on review because i've done a review on this phone but i'll go over some of the things that really catch my eye first of all it's in catching your eye it's the screen the screen is so nice on this phone i absolutely love it and the reason i love it it's huge first of all it's like a 6.8 inch display and it's super bright indoors and outdoors and also it's just awesome it's like a really great quality display you can't get really any better uh, with this display than you know any on any other phone it just looks amazing i absolutely love it and the uh, little you know punch hole on the camera on the screen it doesn't really get in the way at least i i mean i don't really notice it and i could say that about a bunch of phones in terms of the phones that like the the, the notch on the iphone 11 and other phone that the note s10 plus had a little punch hole on the top right it doesn't get in the way it's not a huge deal and this isn't really a big deal as well and just the, the display is awesome you're playing games or watching videos or whatever you're doing on here just looks amazing and they really every single year samsung knocks it out of the park with the display and they did this year as well. And it's definitely, for me anyway, it's the best display that you can get on a phone. I love it. It's large, it's bright, it's beautiful. The second thing I love about the Galaxy Note 10 over some of the other phones is the software. I really love all the tweaks and just the way they implement their version of Android on here. Everything's pretty smart for the most point. It's not that clogged up with features that you won't use. I mean, it does have some features that I, I don't use, but overall it's got just a slew of awesome software and feature tweaks. Wire, po wireless power share on the back. You can charge a, a device. Um, you can mess with the battery if you want in terms of lowering it and make it big, making it more aggressive or less aggressive or completely turning it off. Just things that, you know, make this phone easier to use. Um, I don't know, I just love it. It's, it's great. Oh, another great app on here is GoodLock. And GoodLock right here is an app that really lets you customize your phone. And you can use this app on other Galaxy devices. Don't get me wrong, almost everything I'm talking about you can, but obviously this is the latest and the greatest Galaxy device and their implementation and usage of the way they use their software is just awesome. It's, there's really so much you can do with this phone in terms of feature wise. They just keep either, they keep adding and you know sometimes they'll remove stuff that people just don't use and uh, they just did a great job with it uh, this year. Then number three is performance. Performance on this phone is amazing. So first of all, Snapdragon 855, 12 gigabytes of RAM. So basically you're getting, there's, there's not a phone that has more RAM in it than this one. There's some other phones that have 12, but this phone is tied with them. So 12 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, storage speeds are 3.0, so you get the fastest read write speeds on the market with this phone it's just a power house of performance it's going to breeze through games it's going to breeze through just running on this day to day whatever you're doing it's just great it's in terms of that stuff and with it having 12 gigabytes of RAM, it feels like you can do whatever you want in this in terms of like you can open an app and then go back to it 30 minutes later or more and it's still open for you. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting back into it and it's not where, where it used to be. I know I've had that issue with my Pixel phone. It doesn't have a lot of RAM and a lot of the apps will restart. You don't get that issue with this. Same thing on iPhones, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and 11, it will close up apps that, you know, it can't keep in the memory. This does not have that issue and it just flies through whatever you're doing on this. I love it. This is the best performing Galaxy phone I've ever had. Now, I wouldn't say that the Note 10 for me has takes the best photos. It takes really, really good photos, but I really feel like um, it takes excellent videos. And I love shooting uh, 4K 60 videos with this phone. I'll just put a little example of me just capturing some footage with this phone. It comes out awesome on here. I love, love, love uh, the back cameras on this phone and the front cameras, the, the both cameras. You can shoot 4K 60 on the back cameras and on the front 4K 30, which is new for Galaxy devices. So it was a nice little touch that they added that this year on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. 
and it's just, I love the videos. They're vibrant, they're bright, they're clear, they do awesome video. And the last thing I'm gonna mention, cause there's tons of stuff to really love about this phone, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's definitely things I'm leaving out, but I just wanted to go over why, I, I, a few of the reasons why I chose this as my phone of the year, and it's charging. This thing charges so freaking fast. By default, you can charge it at 25 watts, so it charges extremely, extremely fast. You'll be charged fully within about 60 to 70 minutes from zero to 100. Also, you have a 45 watt charging capability to this as well to charge it slightly faster. It's not a huge difference, but it is it is the ability to do that. Also, it does wirelessly charge at 15 watts, which is the old speed that the Galaxy S10 charges at with a wire. So. You can charge this thing super fast and I love that. So if you run out of battery, you still can charge up really quickly to get going and get to using this phone again. So overall, again, an amazing, amazing phone. It's hard to beat this phone. It seems like the Note series of phone is the winner every single year in my eyes, the last couple of years anyway. So uh, let me know what your phone of the year is in the comments down below and why, and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.